idiot rapper Jay-Z calls Trump a superbug. President slaps him hard with brutal response by Rebecca DeSirio Entertainment Politics for MadWorldNews.com. Sean Carter, who goes by the name of Jay-Z, decided to weigh in on politics during an interview on CNN with Van Jones, another idiot. The idiot rapper is uh, married to Beyonce, another devil uh, worshiper, along with him. And like most of the Hollywood crowd, he has no clue about economics or real politics issues facing this country. Yet he spews incendiary remarks, calling President Donald Trump a superbug. And that's when the president slapped him hard with a brutal response. It looks like Van Jones is still stuck on stupid. The CNN political commenter or commentator is infamous for his remark the uh, night Donald Trump won the election saying it's a white lash. Now, fake news CNN just gave Jones his own show and of course he brings on Jay-Z to enlighten the American idiots that watch him on politics. CNN and Jones are stuck on the president's alleged crap hole country's comment. Fake news CNN went on for days repeating crap hole so many times that Sean Hannity is officially calling them the crap hole network. Let's be clear, there was no racism in that comment if it were it was ever made, which many who were present denied that it was, but for the sake of argument, let's say he said it. What do you call third world countries that are ripe with living conditions not fit for human, uh, human beings? Exactly what I said. Trump's alleged remark was taken out of context. The behind closed doors conversation was about doing away with the immigration lottery and going to a merit-based system. In essence, Trump was saying, let's make sure the immigrants we take in are educated and can contribute to our society instead of taking people from crap hole uh, countries who Americans end up supporting in every way. Come on. Jones asked Jay-Z to respond to Donald Trump's crap hole country's comment. This is how people talk. This is how they talk behind closed doors. It was a moment where Donald Sterling had been exposed as this racist on a private phone conversation that he was having, and they took his team from him. He responded, referring to the owner of the Los Angeles Clippers, professional basketball franchise of the National Basketball Association from 1981 to 2014, who received a lifetime ban from the NBA for racist remarks. Jay-Z went on, you haven't fixed anything, you have sprayed perfume on the trash can. What, can, uh, what you do when you do that, that is that bugs come and you spray something and you create a super bug because you don't care, uh, take care of the problem. The problem are you guys, that's what the problem is, but don't worry, we're going to get to you guys later. You don't talk, uh, take out the trash, you keep spraying whatever over it to make it acceptable. As those things grow, you create a superbug, and then now we have Donald Trump the superbug. Yeah. To Van Jones's credit, uh, he did bring up the one thing leftists refuse to acknowledge, and that's Trump's booming economy to give him... A little bit of credit too. He is somebody who is now saying, "Look, I'm growing. I'm dropping uh, black unemployment. Black people are doing well under my administration." Said Jones. Then the CNN host asked the rapper, "Does the tr he, meaning Trump, have a point that maybe the Democrats have been giving us uh, good lip service but no jobs?" I would su uh, certainly say so. He may say terrible things, but putting money in our pockets, does that make him a good leader? Of course it does. No, because it's not about money at the end of the day. Okay, Jay-Z, why don't you hand out some of your cash to the impoverished black people in the hood, right? Money is not. Money doesn't equate to happiness. Well, let's see. Put your money where your mouth is, Jay-Z. Uh, it doesn't. That's missing the whole point. You treat people like human beings, then that's the main point, answered Jay-Z. Yeah, all right, Jay-Z. Uh, he added, you can't uh, treat someone like it. Goes back to the whole thing. You going to treat me bad uh, and pay me well, it's uh, not going to lead to happiness. It's going to lead to, again, the same thing. Yeah, all right. 
JC criticizes President Trump's vulgar comment about African nations. It's really hurtful. He's looking down on a whole population of people. And he's so misinformed because these places have beautiful people. He never said that they didn't have... Anyway, who cares? Uh, wow, really? The black community's problem have nothing to do with lack of money? Jay-Z's answer proves he has no idea what he's talking about. He proves he's an utter imbecile, a rapper who has gotten rich, making recordings about the ghetto, who then has the audacity to dismiss the lowest black unemployment rate ever recorded in America. This is what happens when you bring on an idiot from the Hollywood crowd to discuss real issues. It's easy for millionaire Jay-Z to say money doesn't equate to happiness. You'd think a guy like Jay-Z, who grew up in the projects in Brooklyn and had a deadbeat dad, would have to admit that Trump has done more for the black community in one year than former President Barack Obama ever did in his two terms. Well, Trump decided to remind Jay-Z that he is the one who is helping the black community. Somebody please inform Jay-Z that because of my policies, black unemployment, has just been reported to be at the lowest rate ever recorded. When the president emphasized lowest rate ever recorded, he was spot on. Unemployment rate record started in 1972, and in one year Trump has broken that record, not only for black unemployment, but for all minorities. Business Insider reports, Almost unnoticed by the mainstream media, unemployment rates for Hispanics, Africans, African Americans, and Asians have not only fallen, but are now at an all-time low. That's right, unemployment has never been lower for min minorities, at least not since 1972, when such records first started being kept. But Trump wasn't finished addressing the dumb idiot rapper. He followed that post with another tweet saying our economy is better than it has been in many decades. Businesses are coming back to America like never before. Chrysler, as an example, is leaving Mexico and coming back to the USA. Unemployment is nearing record lows. We are the, on the right track. Absolutely. President Donald Trump's uh, candid uh, response pointed out with brutal accuracy, Jay-Z's hypocrisy and exposed him as a huckster. Money may not equate to happiness, but I'd love to see Jay-Z tell that to a hungry little kid who has no hope because he's living in the crime-ridden gangland projects and his mom has track marks on it on, uh, as she pops out uh, baby after baby to receive the added $250 a month she gets per kid. Jobs bring money, bringing self-esteem, which brings hope for the future. And without hope, there is no happiness. Absolutely. And I don't see Jay-Z putting his money where his mouth is. Yeah, unbelievable. What a piece of work that guy is. What a piece of work. Just look at him. Don't you see what a piece of trash he is? Along with that wife of his, that psycho.